Welcome to Tesla Super Destinations, where we review Tesla's charging infrastructure and get to know the cool people there. Today we're jamming with Raccoon Dog at the San Luis Obispo Public Market in San Luis Obispo, California. Let's get charged up. Hello, this is Blue Leader and we're here in San Luis Obispo, California at their third supercharger on Higuera Street where they have 20 superchargers. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, especially on this 101 road trip. There's a like button, you know what to do with that to show your support. There's a subscribe button. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, please subscribe with us. And you know what? If you know anyone that wants to hang out with us, make sure you share this content to that person. So, um, here are my initial impressions. Initial thoughts. We are super close to some small businesses here, especially it looks like a home improvement store. So if you need to uh, build a pool or build a gazebo or something, uh, you're gonna have all your materials over there. Initial feelings. Uh, there is a feeling that there is a nice place to eat right about there. That's just my guess. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more of homework. But I'm in San Luis Obispo, so you're not too far for some awesome eats citywide. Initial concerns. No concerns whatsoever. This is a very nice looking place to put a supercharger. A lot of greens, a lot of trees. Well manicured landscape, which is always pleasant while you're waiting to charge. So, stay tuned for the review. Thank you, thank you. Let's give our guests Raccoon Dog our ear. That's Cameron, Daniel, Alex, and Joe our ear so they can tell us about the area. So you guys are in a band, yeah? Yeah. yeah. What's the name of your band? Raccoon Dog. Raccoon Dog. Yes. Okay, and where did you guys play tonight? Uh, we played the Slow Public Market. In Slow. San Luis Obispo, California. So tell us about the Slow Public Market. Why did you choose to play here? Uh, I originally played here back in December and then I got invited back and we kind of formed in December and then the next gig we had was actually that, a, a few gigs later it was here yeah. and I was back for a few dates in the summer and we played here two other times and today was the third date in the event center. So uh, if someone is supercharging in the parking lot here they could expect some good eats and maybe hear some tunes from Raccoon Dog? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah. some other local bands. Yeah. Well, mostly Raccoon Dog. Mostly Raccoon Dog. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of music do you guys play? Uh, jazz, jazz, jazz fusion. Yeah. yeah some pop here and there, but yeah. stick to jazz with it. So, so let's go down. Uh, who plays what instruments? Who sings? Uh, break it down for us. Um, I play saxophone. I just started singing, so this is my second time playing a gig singing. Um, I also play flute sometimes, and I play... Yeah, no, that's it. <laughs> I play drums. Uh, I play the bass. Um, guitar. Excellent, excellent. And then we're missing a fifth member who plays piano. He's in Missouri. Shout out to Missouri. So uh, how did you manage without your keyboardist? We, we, we miss him. We miss, yeah, <laughs> we miss him. We miss you, Brendan. A full star for chargers, 20 at 250 kV, 24 7. Half a star for bathrooms, 417 feet away inside the public market upstairs. A full star for safety, well lit outdoor parking. A full star for food and beverage, fantastic local food eateries, and a lot of variety at that. A full star for Cool Factor, check for local music and the beautiful patio. The Public Market in San Luis Obispo gets a 4.5 TSD rating. Non-rated noteworthy mentions 2.3 miles from the 101 freeway Higuera Street exit. Let's give our guest Raccoon Dog, that's Cameron, Daniel, Alex and Joe the final word. If Elon was on your crew, if he worked for Raccoon Dog, what would he be doing for you guys? Oh, he'd be the tambourine guy. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> he'd be the tambourine guy and the official dude who stands in the back like, 
Yes. <laughs> I do uh, like this band. We we are official. I think he'd be our manager. I was going to say. <laughs> well, I mean, the dude works. And like, our producer. The dude works like, what, 90 hours a week? So he could only be one thing. Is he going to be your manager or the tambourine guy in the back? Tambourine, tambourine guy. Probably tambourine guy. Okay, we'll that's the vote. There. That's how the, the band votes. What is the coolest thing someone has ever done for Raccoon Dog as a group? We got to play at the Fremont, yes, which is a local yeah. theater to San Luis Obispo. Kind of historical theater around here. So yeah, it's, it's got really this cool. huge ceiling. It's giant painted, and a, a couple friends of ours in this other group called Wavezine, um, they hooked us up with that gig. Who do you admire the most as a band? As a band? Uh, Ron McCarley. Ron McCarley. Ron McCarley. Ron McCarley? Yes. Ron McCarley. Who is Ron McCarley? The director of uh, the jazz program at uh, Cuesta College. Mm -hmm. here in yeah. He now, is, he's a very sweet guy. Uh, yes. Uh, besides him being sweet, what is it that he did for Raccoon Dog that gives you gives him your admiration? Well, it's just constant wisdom. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. He's very, he always has the right thing to say. And great advice, always. He just always nudges us in the right direction where he, you know, he thinks, and he's always right we need to go so. yeah do you guys have any final words of wisdom for the people out there who are coming to supercharge here at the San Luis Obispo public market enjoy yourself yeah go to Jaybirds go to Jaybirds yeah I cannot I cannot stress this enough if you don't go to Jaybirds you are missing out in life all right guys thank you so much see you later okay see you thank later. you yeah. Congrats, you made it to the end. Comment your electric thoughts and share with your circle of trust. Thanks for letting us supercharge your Tesla destination. See you at our next super destination. If you guys worked for Elon Musk, what would you guys be doing for him? I would be the personal serenader, you know? I would just <laughs> sit by his bed at night and play him guitar and pat his head. <laughs> yeah. I know he wants that. What would you be <laughs> what would you be serenading Elon Musk at night? Jazz. John Mayer. Some John Mayer? You would do some John Mayer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>